Here we go, the automobile ads. Oh, these are so much fun to look at. Because you can take in really the appreciation. You can really appreciate the sort of design that went into some of these cars. So yeah, you have things like the most modern car in the world. The Oldsmobile. And you can really take into account the sort of design that went into it. And how they, they thought of aerodynamics and all of that sort of stuff. All of the different physics that went into a car to make it move smoothly and so that there would be almost no drag is what we would think they'd be doing, as what new car companies do, but no. They had things like square fronts, which created way too much drag, and a good aerodynamic back, which is kind of weird. But, yeah, otherwise, that's pretty much it for the car section. It's stuff like America's number one glamour car, more with the Mercury, step out with the Mercury. These guys look real happy. Uh, but I think we should just move on to food, because that's fun. So we're going to get into some of the best ads from the 40s, the food ads. Oh, yeah. You got stuff like Peanut Crunch by, by Wholesome, H-O-U-L-H-O-L-S-U-M. Uh, yeah, I'm, pro I'm gonna probably going to put up the correct spelling. For wholesome on the screen, but um, now let's get into some of the juicy stuff. Ooh, ooh, hoo. ooh, we got right into the best stuff right here. We got right into the cereal. Ads. Ooh, like who doesn't remember classic Kellogg's corn soya cereal? Because it's a crisp, tasty twin <laughs> treat. Okay, let, let's see. What when was this one? 1948. Perfect. Perfect. So, so this wasn't U.S. needs us strong, but we got ah here we go. U.S. right there, right there. U.S. needs us strong. That's probably one of the best slogans ever. One of the dumbest ones. One of the silliest ones, but definitely one of the best that there is out there for advertising. But this was 1943 for Kellogg's Corn Flakes. So that, that makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. If, you, if, it's, if it's during the war and you're trying to advertise healthy food, I get that. I get the cut of your jib. But over here we got stuff like post toasties. You need vitamin B1 daily. The energy vitamin. Get it now in post toasties and in no other corn flakes. They're saying... Eat our, eat our stuff. No, the other stuff, that's not good enough. You need this stuff. You, it says right here. You need it every day. It says value added to value. A bunch of stuff basically saying we're better than Kellogg's. But they haven't seen Frosted Flakes yet. That came out in the 50s, so I mean, we're fine for now. Woo! This is a good one. It's like play some weird music or something. That just shows this guy for Wheaties, like the the height of goodness. The height of goodness. And then you see this poor kid on stilts. Just just he wishes to be tall. He wishes to be tall. He did he just isn't. Sort of like me at school. But um Ooh! Ooh, Rice Krispies. These were around back then, huh? Save time, save fuel, save work. Wait a minute, I, I, I recognize these guys. These are the same guys on the boxes now. Except with much bigger ear. Oh, we have a comic. These ads are always fun. Lil Abner in proves he's a real gentle man. Wake up, Daisy, me. There's a there's a train coming. There's a train coming. Um, so ba they, the basically just the cut of this comics jib is they they sell they say cream of wheat a lot. All right, let's let's count how many times it is. Um, all right, that's that's one. That's two. 
right there um okay that's that that's three uh that, 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 that that's four it that's five <laughs> six seven eight enriched five minutes and regular <laughs> I'm not kidding, that's actually what it says. It's delicious, it's nutritious, it's... It's some sort of cream that you... Does wheat have any liquid of it? Like, what do they put this... What, how do they make this? Wheat in a blender or something? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got desserts on this, on this one. Ooh, donuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the vitamins. You got these ones. They're oval tine, oval teen. Three average good meals plus two glasses of. Oh gosh, two glasses of this stuff. Two glasses of of oval teen give the normal person all of the extra vitamins and minerals he can use. Let's see what sort of vitamins they say. I say, of course, vitamin A. Children need it to grow, and you need it to fight off colds. That's vitamin C that improves your immune system, but okay. Um, with oval tea, you get all the extra vitamin A experts say you need. Why not? Why not eat carrots? They got vitamin G. What? What is vitamin G? What is it? It says it even in this one. This came out three years later and it's still vitamin G. It's in steak. Okay, let's read its description. What is its description? You can't be alert, awake, alive without them. Whoa. So you need vitamin G to live. Whoa. You get them in the entire vitamin B complex in this stuff. Nice. All right, let's just uh, let's let's read let's read what this gives you more of. Read what you get in two glasses of this stuff. You get more vitamin C than four ounces of tomato juice. It's a lot. More vitamin B1 than three servings of oatmeal. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, more iron than three servings of spinach. I'm sure Popeye would disagree. More calcium and phosphorus than two and a half servings of American cheese. I didn't know wax had calcium and phosphorus, so this is actually quite informative. More protein than three eggs. Okay, buddy, you got a picture of steak right next to there. You, you can put the meat there, and people will understand. But but this is vitamin G. Then th 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 <laughs> three quarters of a pound of sirloin steak. You get your vitamins, kids. Eat your super expensive steak during wartime. More niacin than slick slices of enriched bread. That is a lot of bread. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, what 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 kind of bread? Is it white? Is it rye? Is it fresh baked? Is it good? More vitamin A than two servings of peas. Honestly, did carrots not exist back then? <laughs> More vitamin D than ten ounces of butter. What the? more food energy than two dishes of ice cream y you know what I would rather eat all of these things instead of two glasses of this of, of Ovaltine oh god plain and chocolate flavored <laughs> you can get this stuff in chocolate or you can get it in plain and here we got a nice fruit juice commercial for Welch's. I, I think they make fruit gummies now for pure enjoyment. So they got grape jelly, orange jelly for marmalade, grape juice, tomato juice, and grape -alade. Okay, so you have grape, orange, grape, tomato, grape, and orange. Let's make some OJ. Also, very nice visual. With this little sailor boy, he's handing out some grape juice to a sousaphone player. And the sousaphone 
I, I don't think the little chunks in the grape juice will be very good for the soups, the soups of phone. Also, this guy looks like he's been standing in like a sauna for, for hours in like full clothing. Look at how much this boy's sweating. <laughs> beautiful visual, beautiful visual. I thought Matt started in 1952, but Alfred E. Newman, why did you give up the life of a tomato farmer? What the? Smart and a smart lift for active people. Have fun. Get pleasantly tired. Then drink a bite to eat. Dr drink a bite to eat. Th that distinctive Dr. Pepper flavor is not derived from any single source, not a copy of any other drink. But people say it's prunes or something. It's an original blended creation that never tires the taste. Drink a bite to eat daily at 10, 2, or 4 o'clock, or any time you are hungry, thirsty, or tired. Dr. Pepper, good for life. Drink a bite to eat at... Tis the clock. Tis four o'clock. Perfect. Also, the, the, the picture here. I mean, there's two guys. They look pleasantly tired. <laughs> they look like they're ready to drink a bite to eat. You got this giant copper bowl full of Dr. Pepper surrounded with ice. That's very nice. And then you have these people sitting by an empty swimming pool. What's this supposed to signify? Did, are they going to fill the pool with Dr. Pepper? Are they going to... What the... What, what are you... Do, what are you doing? Like, I don't understand this visual. Also, Sprite with Grenadine says that it does taste best. The, the Royal Crown Cola for a real treat. Lovely teenage Sprite with Grenadine calls for a hot dog and a frosty bottle of Royal Crown Cola. Her favorite drink. Sprite took the famous cola taste test recently. One is super, cried Sprite, after le after le tasting leading colas in paper cups. Sure enough, it was Royal Crown Cola. Uh, all year long, it's one of the quick up for her two full glasses. <laughs> Five cents. <laughs> you drink two glasses of this a day. And you got, and you still manage to stay thin. Also, the dog looks interested. Is he saying, what is that? Is he saying, why is that? Is he saying, are you going to finish that? Because I'll gladly drink it if you don't. Here's a goodbye, says Sprite. And I do mean, ah, our first war bonds ad. And I do mean war bonds. <laughs> And I know you're doing your share, but we've got to do more. Every war bond we buy brings victory closer. Sprite with grenadine. Yum, I love me the taste of some war bonds. <laughs> Alright, let's switch to- Ooh, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Um. What? What, what is that? Also, Santa's raiding the refrigerator! What the heck? He's got this giant battle bag of trash, it looks like. Yeah, you can clearly see an egg carton, some empty milk bottles, then he looks through the fridge and like, oh boy, I love me some Coca-Cola, ho ho ho! He grabs all of it. He's, he's, he's raiding the fridge. Where there's Coca-Cola, there's hospitality. Taste the feeling, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. We found it. Oh, we found the World War II. We're gonna see a lot of war of war bonds thing. Yeah, <laughs> buy war bonds. Okay, that's. Boy, oh boy, after taking a long look at the past of Madison Avenue and all of its great ads, it just, oh yeah.
the back of the book also says colorful capitalism. So yeah, with all of that, the invasion is an invasion.